Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a Brandy Melville haul. I know. I can feel I can feel the judgment. Listen, moment of weakness. Okay, I bought so much Brandy Melville. It's insane. Before we get into it, disclaimer, I know it's Brandy Melville, I understand. Listen, I am very well aware of the fact that Brandy Melville is not made for me, okay? But I like I like their clothing, okay? I don't advertise that I buy it. I don't endorse it. I know it's not made for me. That's okay. We understand that. We all know this. We don't need anyone to tell me this. But I did buy it, and I thought, you know what? Let me try and justify this purchase by making a video out of it and doing a little try-on haul. I spent about $400 on Brandy Melville. Um, that is a lot of money. Like, I'm actually kind of never gonna spend money again after this. I don't have money like that. I do not have money like that. I guess I spend like I have money like that, but I do not. I I do not spend this much money regularly. Let me make that clear. Let's just get into it. There's a lot of stuff, obviously. I did a blend of clothing and jewelry. I really like their jewelry. This is a necklace from them. Here's the box. Should we just get started? I am really excited, to be honest. I'm gonna try everything on. Let's hope it fits. Um, it's not like I can return it and get another size. Uh, first item we got, this is the, oh, it doesn't say what any of these items are. This is a sweater. This is like a thin sweater. Um, I'm so excited about this because it's like kind of see-through so I can wear like a tank top or shirt under it. It doesn't, it's not obvious that it's see-through here, but look, you can kind of see like this. Um, I just wanted this because I wanted more like basics. I'm the kind of person who tends to buy a lot of statement pieces and then I can only wear, and I can't wear them ever together, so I... I tend to need a lot of basics, and Brandy has all the basics. Uh, why am I trying to justify this purchase? This was my first item. Let's try this on. What do we think? I feel like this has, um, it, do you guys see how it, like, goes in like this? This is, like, a feminine shape. My body more goes, like, this. Like, this is where it would start going in, whereas this, like, makes it, like, go... I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say, but this is, it's just more of a, the cut is just more feminine than I would like regularly go for, um, probably because it's a women's brand. I could totally make this work, you know, maybe with some overalls with like a tank top under it, but like overall I do like it basically is what I'm saying. Okay, next up are these pants. I think these are called like, they all have like name, just like regular people's names. These are John Galt pants and John Galt is like the sister brand to Brandy Melville. They're just like khakis. I don't have any khakis. Again, I bought them because I like the fit on the model, and so I thought they would be just like a nice fit. I really only have jeans and sweatpants, and so I really needed some more pants in general, and I thought khakis would be a good addition. Pants are so, so expensive, and Brandy has like $40 pants, which are not cheap, but that's better than what you can get at most places. Like at Urban, I feel like the cheapest you can get pants for is like 60 bucks. Not that I really shop at Urban, but. Okay, here are these pants. I really like the fit of these. I like that they land like right on my hips. The only weird thing is that the button goes the other way, again, because it's made for women. I do kind of wish there was a belt loop because they're, I would like to be able to pull them up to here, but I kind of can't. It's nice to have something that's not jeans and sweatpants, like I keep saying. Woohoo! Okay, next is a top I've been wanting for almost a year, but it's been sold out every time I try and get it. And that is this tank top from Brandy, which is like a, the English flag. I've been wanting this for so long, and I see it sometimes on Poshmark, but it's always like overpriced, or it's sold out, or it's like an old listing, and I finally got it. I just like love this. I don't know. I think it, you can style it really easily with like a lot of different pants, jeans, the new khakis I got, just like a bunch of different stuff. You know, I'm not a big, I'm not a big England person, but I love that it's this like off-white gray color that the fabric is made out of. And yeah, let's try this on. A lot of their tank tops are really short on me, which is to be expected, and I don't mind that. I kind of like it, because then I can wear like more mid-rise pants. I think this is going to be one of those. This is thicker than I was expecting it to be. I thought it was going to be super thin, so that's actually kind of a nice surprise. This is honestly exactly what I wanted. I'm really happy about this. I just love... Okay, I don't know how to explain this either. First of all, the there's no like stitching to cut this off it kind of just like stops which i love like it's it's almost like they cut it with the scissors and then it's really boxy here at like the waist which i really like it like holds some shape i will say it's a little bit like smaller on <laughs> shocker um but that's just because i have i have a super long torso that means basically all their tank tops tend to be like kind of short on me but i actually really like this this is like perfect for like low-waisted if you can see 
And then like I can also have like something up here and it can kind of like fall down a little bit. Team England or whatever. Okay, next I got two pairs of socks. I got these little heart socks and these little blue striped socks. Um, these are just like ankle socks. I have very few socks and I feel like because of that, I just run through them so quickly. I am always in need of new socks. These are really cheap socks. They're like five bucks or six bucks. And I was like, okay, easy. I just need socks that I can wear with anything. A, a nice white base color is perfect for me. These are definitely gonna become a quick staple and then I'm gonna destroy them because I'm gonna wear them so often probably, to be honest. Okay, next, this is kind of what started this whole haul. Um, this whole purchase and that is this uh, white and silver sweater again This is really simple, but it can just be really easily styled with like jeans blah 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 It'll be good for spring. It's good for summer. I can wear it with anything I just have too much statement stuff. I need more neutrals and I love the mix of silver and white I don't know the like it's just I guess it's technically is this silver or is this gray? It's definitely gray, but I love that it's called silver. <laughs> Here we have the silver and white. Oh my God, I've gotten stains on so much of this already. It's been like four days since I've filmed, so I've worn a lot of this. Um, clearly I like it. Um, it's really like long, which is nice. It goes really cute with like jeans, jean shorts in the summer. This will make a really cute outfit. And I really like this. I just love like the mix of gray and white. I feel like that's not super common. Do I sound like an idiot saying that? Well, whatever, I do really like this. Um, I think I'll get a lot of good use out of this. It's really warm. A lot of this stuff is like actually really really warm Okay, next up I have I think like three different pairs of linen pants. I'm so crazy. These ones are blue and white Striped with these little things. This is just giving like I am going to Cape Cod and I'm living there for the I'm summering in Cape Cod. Listen, this just was a vibe for me I feel like just with a white tee with a nice little tank top something easy something simple This is just a perfect nice pants. These are gonna be so so good for summer. I can just throw them on they're just Amazing. I can wear them to classes. I don't know if you know. Hi, I'm Trigva. I go to acting school. I have to wear like sweatpants or movable pants almost every day of the week because in my classes I have to move and I have to be able to like breathe a lot and blah blah blah. So I can't wear like restrictive, really form fitting or form formed pants like jeans. I can't wear jeans. I can't wear cargo pants. I can't wear anything with buttons. So these will be perfect for class. And I just thought they were so cute. And I thought they were so cute that I got them in pink as well. These actually are a little bit of a different like fabric, I guess. They're just like thinner. You can't really tell. I'll, I'll try these on. They're basically the same though. They have these nice big pockets. Again, I love the drawstring. So I have two of these. I, oh my God, I have the hiccups. These linen, pink, white striped pants. I love, love, love the fit of these. I can pull them up to my like waist or I can pull them down. They're honestly perfect. I'm loving how they just like sit. I like that they have this like little like elastic layer. I like just like how that looks to be honest. They are kind of see-through. So that's something I'm gonna have to keep in mind. These are a little bit bigger, I think. They're the same pants, they're supposed to be, but they are bigger than the pink ones. And the fabric is a little bit different. This fabric on the blue ones is a little bit thicker versus the pink. I love these. Next, I have this wife pleaser, we're calling them now, is that right? Um, this wife pleaser with this like, I don't know what this is. What's this called? I bought this because I was just like, if I ever need to dress up as an angel for Halloween, I'll now have a tank top for that. And because it's gonna go really well with my next item, which is this boat neck sweater that I've been seeing everywhere. Again, I don't know if you can tell, but this is super thin. So I thought that this would go really well with this. I just thought this would be a great fabric. And yeah, it's a little more cropped than I was expecting, but it should still fit. The try on haul part of this is gonna be so funny because I'm so like hype and ready about every single piece of these clothing. But literally if they don't fit, I'm doomed because I have to send them back. I love the fit of this. This is like perfect. I think like women's wife beaters are like a better fit. I hate how loose the men's ones get and they're super long. I know I have a long torso, but I still don't want like super long. Like I don't want it to go below my pant line or at least a low waisted pant line. I've already worn this, eaten in it and got a stain on it. So hopefully that comes out. Unfortunately, I've got some bad news about the Colette sweater. I um, recorded this video and then I was gonna record the try on haul, but in between, I took a trip to visit my friend. I left my Colette sweater at his dorm. I love it, but I don't have a live 
modeling of it. Okay, next I bought a pair of jeans because I actually only have two pairs of jeans and now I wear them so often that everybody knows all the pairs of jeans that I have. So I just bought these simple jeans. I made sure that the waist would fit me because obviously you can't really change it. But yeah, they were just simple and I thought they would go really well with basically everything else I bought because they're made to go together. I got up on a chair to show them off. And let me try and not fall off. And dunno. Here we go. Here's the back. Boom boom. And on to the next pants. My final piece of clothing is a white pair of pants in the same exact cut that the jeans are. But hopefully these fit as well. I don't know, I don't have any white pairs of pants. And I feel like this is gonna be a good challenge to style. These are have the exact same fit as the jeans. I'm, I'm liking them, they fold the hip, they have a belt loop, they hold their shape really well, they taper, and then they like do a little bit of like a open up. Okay, then finally I got a bunch of jewelry, more jewelry than I thought I did. Okay, so the first jewelry I got was this necklace with just this like little emerald heart charm. I don't know, green isn't really a color that I gravitate towards, but I just thought this was cute and it'd be fun to, to wear because I kind of wear this all the time. This is cute. This is a cute necklace. Here's the thing though. It's really small on me. Like my neck is just almost too big for this to even fit. Like it's on the largest class. Anytime a necklace is this tight on me, like I feel like I'm choking, it kind of gives me panic attacks. So I doubt I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this one, but I think it's cute, especially for something like this, like a wife beater. It's just so like, the contrast, I just kind of love that. Like, I don't know if, if you get what I'm saying. Like, isn't this so chic? Maybe I'm off my rocker, but hey, listen. Oh, I almost fell. I also don't wear emerald, like green a lot, but next I got this huge heart pendant. I don't know what I was thinking with this one. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll see how I style this. Maybe on like a big hoodie, or not big hoodie, like a big sweater or something, this will look cute. But I liked it at one point and I'm sure I can find a way to style it. I love this necklace. I really especially love that in the back it's like a bow tie. And I don't know, again, this is like something I wouldn't normally wear so I feel like it's good and it's like fun to push myself and like see how I can make it work. It's also a locket so I could put something in here. Right now I don't have any, anyone to put in here but <laughs> Next I got these hoops. Um, I don't know if these are gonna be my vibe. I think why I got so much random jewelry is because it's really cheap. I was just like into it. I don't know. I, I do have my ears pierced by the way. I have two on this side and one on this side. I got this one done in a pawn shop. This one I did myself and the second one I did myself. I don't wear earrings a lot, but I wear them sometimes. These gold hoop earrings, they're cute. L l this is what it is. It's more like clean girl aesthetic than I'm used to, but I can definitely go with that and I think I can style it. I like them. They're just bigger than I'm used to. It's different. It's something new. But I did that on purpose. I wanted to push myself. Then I got some more earrings. These are more my speed. They're like these little hoops with chains on them. Um, except I can, I'm only going to be able to wear one of them because only one of my ears has a double piercing. But that's okay because then I can wear like a stud or a diamond in the other one. It'll be a nice little asymmetrical vibe. Okay, so as I stated, I only have one double piercing over here. I can't put these in. And it's kind of making me wish that I had a double piercing over here. I actually did double pierce this one myself and then I didn't like its exact, like it was a little off the spacing wise. Like, so I let it close, but I'm honestly getting inspired to get a second piercing in this ear just so that I can wear the other earring because I really like it. It's really cute. But yeah, who doesn't love like a little a little chain coming off of their ear, right? And it's super lightweight, super easy to get in. This clip is a little too like tight when it gets clipped in, like it's kind of hard to open, but I mean, okay, like whatever. That's like not even a real complaint. I just like was trying to come up with something else to say. So. And then finally, I got this set of silver and gold hoops. I think I'm gonna like these the most. Um, these are just nice and simple, and every day it's simple and it's a nice basic. Hi, okay, these are more my speed, to be honest. They're a little bit smaller hoops. I still love the gold, but I think I'm gonna get more use out of these. I think they just work with my face shape better, my face length. I have a long face. Like, look at this. It's very long. Um, <laughs> these are the first hoops that I've ever owned. So it's something new for me, but uh, I think I'll start wearing earrings more honestly now that I have these. I just don't have anything that I wanna wear like on a daily basis. Also these go in really easy. I don't know if that just has to do with how hard my other earrings go are to go in, but who knows. Okay, these, even more my speed. These are my faves so far. The silver is just perfect 
honestly. I like the gold still though, but I love the, the silver. I think I wear more silver jewelry just because I find pieces in silver that I like more, even though I don't really have a preference silver or gold wise. The shape of them, the thickness I really like, they're just, they're kind of perfect. And they're like cheap, I think. So this is a job well done on Brandy Melville. <laughs> Ugh. All right, so that was $400 of Brandy Melville. I do not endorse this brand. This was just for entertainment purposes. I think the best option is to buy secondhand Brandy Melville, but I have a lapse in judgment. My frontal lobe is not formed, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, awesome. Subscribe for clear skin, and I don't know if I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Hopefully it all fits, oh my god.